Hello, folks. How you doing? Uh, I thought I would talk about uh, three factors having to do with human physiology and mythology. It's taught in mythology, discussed in mythology, or narrated in mythology. You know, it's a very important part of a mythological representations and teachings. Okay, so this is uh, talking about uh, three factors, which is the uh, the Jed, uh, the Jedi, and the Jet. Okay, and these have to do with human physiology. It has to do with electricity flowing through the body. Okay. Now, the jet, okay, is, uh, well, it's called the backbone. Okay. And uh, we see in the mythology that the backbone, or the jet, is lifted up. It's picked up, and you know, in some of the reliefs, pictures, and in the mythology. Uh, but this occurs around at the uh, winter solstice where they lift the jet up, okay? And so, uh, but this is the time at the solstice is when uh, the sun crosses the solstice and the days begin to get longer. Hmm? Okay, and then uh, this is an actual fact as we know, right? But now, uh, symbolically, okay, they lift the backbone, the jet, okay? And it is said that the backbone is a battery, therefore it contains and stores energy, okay? And uh, energy travels through it, electrical energy. So now we see in... Uh, Let's say in uh, the Hindu mythology, they have uh, the serpent Kundalini. They have Kundalini down at the base of the sp uh, base of the spinal column, the very bottom. Okay, uh, he's curled up down there, like he's ready to spring up, swing so and go right up the spinal col spinal column. But well, we're talking about electricity. Okay. And this also uh, reminds us of the uh, caduceus, you know, the medical insignia, where they uh, have the serpents crisscrossing, going up to the brain, okay? These are electrical currents. They go up, they go, they crisscross, and when they crisscross, they are contacting nerve plexus that run along the spinal column. We're talking about the uh, parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, okay? So they have these, these uh, uh, complexes, nervous complexes, okay? And, uh, and this is what the serpents, mythologically, be contacting. And when they contact these, uh, these nerve plexes, they uh, absorb energy. Electrical energy from the nervous system. Because these nervous systems, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic, feed the muscles of the body and uh, the organs of the body. So they contain, yeah, they contain energy. And this energy then is uh, contacted and taken in by this so-called serpent. Well, it's not a real snake, you know. Okay, but anyway, it's telling us that energy, is any electrical energy, can travel up to the spinal uh, situation and right up to the brain. This is what the caduceus is saying. Okay, the medical insignia, we see uh, they have it on their shirt, blazoned on their, their uh, jackets and whatnot, the doctors and whatnot in the hospital. Yeah, so this is what's going on there. We're talking about that energy, okay? Now, this is the jet we're talking about right here. But uh, that's the, the spinal column and all that goes up the spinal column. Uh, we, uh, we also have to talk about the, uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the jet eye. 
Oh, see, I did mention it, Jedi, but I just didn't name it. This is uh, the Caduceus, okay? Or we say th these are um, the nerve plexus that run along each side of the spinal column. They go all the way down to the bottom of the con uh, spinal column, the cosix area, okay? And they, when they get down there, you see, these are the ends of these two nervous uh, systems. They, they come close together, they form a spark gap. This, this just means that electricity goes from one to the other. Okay, so we form that electricity. Now, remember the serpent that travels up the spinal column? Okay, then when this spark gap sets off this electricity, it go right up the spinal column, all the way up to the brain. But as it goes up, you know, say, well, it zigzags, it picks up a little more energy as it goes, maybe, you know. But anyway, it goes up there to the brain, all right. And uh, th this, is, uh, um, uh, this is talking about the expansion of consciousness, the expansion of perceptual capacity. We're talking about getting, uncovering knowledge and developing intelligence. And yeah, we can take that for a, a long ways. It can go a long ways. Even in, when it comes to like uh, time travel, going back into the past, yeah. Zodiac is, uh, plays a part in that too, but we'll get to that another time. But anyway, the, so these two, okay, uh, columns, okay, that run down along the spinal column are the Jedi. The eye in the back, the die, okay, gives us the idea of two, die, two, double. Is he talking about the double currents, positive and negative currents, okay? So then we go over to the, uh, the jet, D-J-E-D, -E or T, D-J-E-T, pronounced jet. This has to do with semen. Now, uh, which also has to do with electromagnetic energy and currents, etc. Okay? So now the semen are, has, is, is, one of its constituents is melanin. Well, melanin is all over the body. If it wasn't, the body wouldn't work right. <laughs> so, so we have semen all over the body. We have melanin all over the body. And how does semen get there? Okay. Well, yeah, we can do that through certain breathing exercises. Okay. But anyway, but melanin is a conductor of electromagnetic energy. You see? So semen can be used by the human in more than one way. Same thing with the, the female reproductive fluids. Okay. So anyway, we have uh, we have the melanin, okay, and, and the semen and every other part of the body. But melanin has a copper core. And copper is a good conductor of electromagnetic energy. So we now we see where the semen plays a large uh, role, okay, in conducting energy throughout the body. So then, when a person preserves his, his semen or reproductive uh, hormones, okay, and still and use it wisely, okay, he can send that energy into his bloodstream and up to his brain or whatever can use it to conduct electricity through the body because melanin, which is a constituent of semen, has a copper core and therefore conducts electromagnetic energy in the body. So now, when we take uh, the parts of the body, let's take the lower region, the reproductive region, where the skin is darker there, okay? 
So therefore, that area down the lower area here in midsection has uh, more melanin in it. You see, that's why it's so um, connected with touch, feeling. Okay. Why people get the uh, the supercharge when they're involved in coitus and so forth and so on in this region. That's part of it. You know, it responds to touch. Okay, and uh, that's because of the melanin increased melanin content there. If you took the melanin away, you still have you know. Uh, a feeling, but it, the melanin will increase the feeling, okay, in that region. And so, uh, and that's the electricity in the melanin, okay. So now, we see now that uh, that these factors, okay, uh, the column, the jed, the jedi, the... Uh, uh, the two currents of electricity to flow down along the spinal column. And we have uh, the jet, okay, which is involved in uh, supporting, let's say, electromagnetic current throughout the body due to the melanin content and, uh, and the copper content of the semen, jet, semen. At one time, jet was a word indicating or used for semen. It was uh, common, really, you know, years ago, you know. So anyway, this is the way we go with this. And now we also uh, mentioned that we this seminal power, seminal fluid, can be sublimated. That is... Uh, called to a higher calling. Instead of being excreted during, let's say, uh, sexual relations, okay, it can be secreted, kept in the body, okay, and used, okay, to uh, further these operations that result in a higher level of consciousness for the human being. Okay. But the one thing is that, well, as they say, uh, the, the jet is usually held in the grasp of mortality. And that is, it is secreted and the performance of pleasure, etc. Okay. Instead of uh, being secreted within and kept within the body and going to the brain, mortality has it in a strong grasp. It's difficult for people to resist the pleasure that they can have. By it. But there is another pleasure too that we have to talk about, and it involves all these same situations, okay, uh, including semen, etc., when it is retained in the body and used. Uh, this is where you get your, uh, we call it divine joy, okay, yeah. You can rise up within a person. Joy. So powerful that it can scare a person if he doesn't know what's going on. But it's a powerful joy that a person can experience. Okay, folks, uh, good talking to you, and uh, I hope you got something out of that, and uh, I'll be back with you for another video soon. All right, bye.